Welcome to Civilization 6, I'm Magic and I want to make a tutorial this time about the spies. If you see here, this is my capital. When you get us the first spy, it will look like this. Something like this. This is all your cities. All the way down. This is the district, what you have in them. And this is different district. This is the commercial district. Science, industrial. And this is housing, and this is my uh, space district. If you want to defend, as I really want to do against, especially them getting my gold, because I have so much gold, so if they get gold, it will be three, four, five, six, seven thousand. Thousand, that's not good. So I will place them in my uh, biggest city. I will choose St. Petersburg here. And I will say confirm placement. Now it is here already, so it doesn't have to move. I will say confirm placement. I will say counter spy, protect commercial land and all agent district from enemy spies. So around that. So look at that. I have sabotage. That's one level. That's not something I can use here. But I will use that. And I still have another one here, and it has nothing, but I will say, okay, you can still go to St. Petersburg, and you can do confirm placement, and maybe do that in my production. They also like to go through the production. So if we look down here, so I have this now, and I have production, and have the commercial. And you can see here the commercial also gives gold. So it has all these areas around and all these areas. So it also wants to protect my uh, in a campment district, but it doesn't have. They don't go for that. They always go for the production or the gold. And in Smolensk, I also have one here. I can say counter spy. And again, because this is also a big city I like to go for counter spy on this area again the gold but they can also change it I think I have another place to go and then you are in trouble it will cost you a lot so uh, that's Smolensk so now you can see he's here protecting that and he has a little bit more experience still great works two level experience and this is really good because he actually gives home territory all spy operate plus one level, extra level. And caught on a mission has much higher ability to escape. So that's a level. You can get a lot of other levels. And he has that in 16 turns. If there is one caught here, then he will raise a level. And he will also be able to, uh, to sometimes to kill the spy, but also capture them. And if you capture a spy... You can actually go in and say, let's trade, make a deal, and you can find the spies in the bottom here. So you can just say, all these, what do you want to give me? And you will get some stuff. Open borders, a lot of stuff. So I like that a lot. And that's a possibility. You will also get a chance to then the, the get them killed, so you don't have you don't capture them but capture I think is the best because then you can they will not escape I've not seen that in this game I play diesel level so it should not if I haven't seen it, it should not be possible when, when it's that high level as I played it a little bit this game many hours but when you are at another capital or other place when you place them it takes some turns before they reach the destination and I always use that have used some extra turns i've done that here to get mission successfully boosted because of the probability of getting the getting the gold in this circumstance was 436 gold and i can also go and destroy some of industrial zone and there's no tech here why there's no tech um it's because I do not have, there's no tech place in this city. So I can go for funds and then funds and then we'll say 90% chance of failure and chance of being captured or killed. So the failure, then I have to move out. And the other spy I had was quite good to move. 
complete mission here is 25% lower partisan level if there's some uh, uh, some uh, uh, recruitment there you can recruit them and uh, and you can also get two more levels experience for this so that's why I got 90% but you can also make them travel I will show you here you can make them go to another city and these areas is of course what they have in those cities so if they want to still check the go to Nand or St. Petersburg if they want to destroy my industrial zone they go to these cities here but if you want to move them to the other places here you can go for that if you want to have science and that I did a lot in the beginning because I need to steal from them I built a lot of of these spies and I just stole and stole and stole and said sorry and sorry and especially my ally uh, or friend the, the the Congo here I took that because I have a lot of science so I went to that and you see I cannot get in science now but I confirm placement and it'll take some time before he moves all the way over there so that is the spies that's how you use them and that's what you can use them for you can get levels different levels and upgrade them and that's more I use them in the later game as more as counter and get a little gold but it's not really important because I have a lot of gold the counter is most important for me because they get a lot of gold when they succeed with a mission but also to capture the other ones and get great deals in when you trade with them thank you for watching this tutorial and see you on the next one